it's Chelsea here with the Williams Group. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, today we are kicking off a series of videos. We're doing a first time home buyer series. So over the course of the next couple of weeks, months, I'm not sure, um, we are going to be going through the home buying process, answering some commonly asked questions, going over some buzzwords that you've maybe heard, but you're not quite sure what they mean. Um, and so today I wanted to start by answering probably the most commonly asked question that we hear, which is, do I need to put 20% down to buy a house? And the answer is not exactly, um, but it really just depends. So according to the National Association of Realtors, the average down payment for a first time home buyer is 6%. Um, and it can be even less than that actually. And it's 14% for repeat buyers. So not everybody's going around and putting 20% down when they buy a house. Um, what's important to know though, is if you are going to put down less than 20%, your lender will require that you pay private mortgage insurance or PMI. And PMI can really depend on a few different things, your credit score, um, your insurer, your loan to value ratio, but basically this is just an additional insurance policy that covers your lender if for some reason you can't make your mortgage payments. So what I thought I would do today is go over two examples of what your monthly payment could look like if you put down 5% versus 20%. So for today, we're going to use the example of a $300,000 house. And let's start with if you were to put down 5%. So if you put down 5% and I'm going to say you get an interest rate of 4.7%, it's pretty good, um, but doable right now. And um, we'll go from there. So for putting 5% down, your monthly mortgage payment, your principal and interest is going to be $1,478. Your PMI is going to be $223. And your total monthly payment, including your property taxes and insurance, is going to be $2,496 per month if you put 5% down on a $300,000 house. Now, let's look at it if you put down 20% on a $300,000 house. And I'm going to assume you're also getting an interest rate of 4.7%. So your monthly mortgage payment would be um, $1,244. There's no PMI. So your total monthly payment, um, including property taxes and insurance, would be around $2,040 per month. So that's a difference of around $450 per month which comes out to roughly $5,400 for the year. So definitely just something to think about. And these are just rough numbers. Um, your property taxes are gonna change depending on which city and county you're in. So I was just kind of taking an average there. Um, but you know, that's a pretty good amount of money. So I know a lot of people are thinking, well, gosh, I definitely wouldn't wanna buy a house unless I can put down 20%. But if you look at the benefits over time, there are still more benefits to owning a home than renting, um, but it really depends on your situation. And what we love to do is sit down with people um, six months, maybe even a year before they are thinking about buying a home and go over these numbers with them. Um, we have a lot of tools and apps as realtors that we can use to really let you know this is what your monthly payment is going to be if you buy this um, priced house. So we want to be your coach and consultant through the process. That's what we love to do. So if you're curious about these numbers, if you're curious about how much um, you could afford to put down on a house or just want to get the process started, give us a call. We'd love to sit down and talk to you. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you have any questions, let us know. Have a good day.